Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? We don't have an encounter this game, but we are on the set 13 PB. I love Salvage Bin. This augment wasn't an augment last set, so I'm going to show you the power of Salvage Bin. I actually, actually love this augment. You can already see that I'm going to make some busting items for this. War Mogs. War Mogs. Red buff. Yeah, that doesn't sound balanced. <laughs> that sounds insane. But I'll take it. Okay, now we have to think about what, what unit we're playing. We don't have a sniper. We have an extra bruiser. I have Cassio in the back line. Let's play Cassio in. Just get some extra damage in there. Gotta practice when you're gonna stop solo queuing, buddy. I mean I'm down to join the lobbies now. I got some I got some good cubers out the way. So I'm hella down. If there's space, I'd love to. Dude, they haven't fixed the scrap bug yet, man. Scrap bug's so annoying. Nice sleep schedule, mate. Thank you. Got the coffee ready. We're ready for the PvE grind. Is, so messy. is this a bug or what? Yeah, it is. It is. It's so many four costs. I mean, so many three costs. I just play straight in forces. Mill. I mean, I'm, I'm probably meant to play this. With this. I, found my hate I feel like this does way more damage. Actually, yeah, maybe I'm lying. That Cassio did did work. Um, and then I'm probably meant to play this. Over this. I think probably was meant to hold Loris, but it's okay. I bought him too early. Uh, I'm probably selling Nunu anyway later. It costs too much to hold this guy. Level four, he's got the the collector. Yeah, I think Cassio is actually better than GP. That's good to know. Guys, farming on the Tristana, getting that infinite AD stacking. People thinking lobbies are relevant in first day of PB. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of relevant, no? I like the Rennie here. I mean, what am I gonna play? Four Bruiser frontline. I guess it's four Bruiser frontline. Do I get Firelight blues, Bruiser? No, it's Watcher. So I'm going to probably have to pivot to Watchers, maybe. I can actually sell myself, just see myself just selling the Nunu. I feel like Nunu is good here, but it's not that necessary. And I'm not playing Experiment, right? So the Nunu is going to be weaker than what he should be. So I'm down to sell. Sell Nunu. I might even sell... Um, Set and hold one of the banders, but we'll see. I feel like four bruiser is probably the, the likely board that I go to, but we'll see. I mean, you can see like Salvage Bin's power is crazy because I have two full items slammed. I'm gonna get a third full item off of Carousel. And a lot of the people in this lobby like might not have even been able to slam an item yet, so I really like this item. What's the OP comps? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. Like, OP-wise, I'm not 100% sure yet, so... I'm just gonna play some Burts today, like, probably try and play more, like, 6 slash 8 traits, and then try and figure out if they're, if they're good. Dan, he's finally in. Why does my PB not work? You gotta keep trying, probably. Yeah, I finally got in. Like, actually, finally. Took a while, but... Go for Last Whisper here. Red buff Last Whisper. Probably a Twitch build, maybe a Jinx build. Um, you kind of want the Shoujin last if you're going to play Jinx. I think Shoujin's really good on that unit, so... We shall see. Set pair. No Firelight to put in, but... I can just put in another set. I don't hate it. I think it's, like, fine. I mean, I, I do want to keep my streak, but if no one... Oh, he's level 5. I was going to say, if no one level 5, there's probably no not a point of me doing it. Okay. How are we going to do this? We're going to do... Exactly this. Uh, the Sunfire was swapped with Blad, so I wanted Blad to walk both to the left and the Sunfire to not affect my Warmox unit, but he actually moved it, so. But I can do it. The same, literally the same thing, just the other side. So we'll, we should be fine. I, I honestly don't think I'm ever going to lose the fight to this person, though. The board doesn't look crazy unless they randomly hit, like, a, a huge upgrade. They're 4 sort though, so, like, they do have damage. 
Are you doing viewer game, Spooky? Probably not. Probably not. But I'm not 100% sure. Automata? Okay, what do we think? Zeri or Kogmo? I'm probably feeling the Kogmo, actually. Yeah, so you see this Loris. Like, I probably want to drag the Loris left. And then try and drag the Vlad right so that the, the, the Sunfire doesn't affect my guy until a bit later. That's the hope. I don't want the Sunfire to proc onto my Warmogs until a little later. But I should win the fight. Like, I am pretty strong. Okay, yeah, we're into good rotation anyway. Uh, this guy has a lot less HP, so he's probably lost all the fights. Yeah, he's lost every single fight. I'm gonna go grab a snack and wait for you to end end the game. Okay, good luck. Do we have any major changes to set? Just the set mechanic, which is the anom anomaly. At four six, um, you can buff one of your units in game. Just uh, you put it into the little thing and and you buff it. So that that's the set mechanic right now. I think that's probably the major change. No charms, obviously, because that's the old set mechanic. Wow, Dominator. Okay. So we definitely can play Twitch as an angle then. The thing is, when I have this Dominator here, uh, I'm now waiting for Nunu again. If I want to play the the Sniper Twitch with Mutantin. I mean, Mundo is just a 1,100 HP unit. Like, it probably is just better than, better than this guy. I'm down to sell just because... Uh, even if I make it Loris, I don't think it's going to be that big of a diff, but we'll see. Make 40 here, not bad. We make more. Oh my gosh. the infinite gold from that. Warmog's Redemption? I mean, that's pretty good on Mundo. I'm pretty sure he likes having HP, so let me have a look. Yeah, 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 he likes having HP. Sounds good to me. Uh, time to put this in over set. We get Enforcer back in. And we can sell some units. One, two, probably Singed. Nice. So we're probably playing around some kind of sniper board. I think I do have salvage bins. So like these items that are slammed, they can actually be anything. So I'm, I'm not too fussed about it. Looks like trouble. Sell the Ambusher probably here. Hello, Tomothy. Hello, Pajo. Nice to see you. What's your first look? Salvage bin. It means I can slam items, and when I sell the items, I get the components back. Yeah, you see, I'm just playing Traitless Mundo here, but, like, this guy is mega tanky. That seems like a bit of a beast. Like, he's just healing up to full again. Nice. And he does damage. I'm in for that. Probably, maybe I go dominate the build here now that I've already got him. Lucky Gloves. I mean, I already have this Lost Whisper. Lucky Gloves is actually really good here. Uh, I get to make all my gloves because I have Salvage Bin into crit. So I can also take take them from later. I think Bronze for Life is actually really good too. Um, and also Giant Belt Overflow here. I've already slammed three belts here. So 150, 225 health. Like the Mundo goes crazy. But I think it is just Lucky, lucky Gloves here. Enforcer Crown? Two, four, six, eight. Should we trade vertical enforcers? Enforcer emblem, lucky gloves. I think lucky gloves. It's just a bit too good here. I think it is, unfortunately, just a bit too good. Okay, one back line, one front line. Not bad. Hopefully it's enough. I mean, I sh it should be chilling. And my board value is like insane with Lucky Gloves. I have so many items. And that salvage bin later, I can always, like, when the full item carousels come about, I can always just take the full item and I'm like actually chilling. I'm gonna buy the double TF. I'm sure I can pivot into it if it comes about. Nice, we hit the bruiser here, so this is over this, and this is over this. We've got the experiment bonus. One's bottom left. Not bad. We saw the third hex as well. Alright, now we can move this TG. I probably moved the TG here. And I got my second component, which is Shiv. Bad. 
Streaming black screen equals 800 viewers. Streaming actual game face equals 50. I mean, everyone's playing PB now. I definitely knew at the time. <laughs> everyone's playing right now, so they're not watching streams. Both looks super good, though. I have items on both my experiments that are getting bonus, so... I am going to have to figure out what carry I'm playing later, but like, honestly, it's probably fine. I, I probably just play any Dominator that I see, so I can buff this window. It's probably Silco, actually. In fact, it's almost definitely Silco. I can play anything until then. Yeah, we'll figure out the rest of the board in a bit. There's no way the stream title is real. Yeah, it's not true. What dog did not come to me in my dream and tell me PBE was up? I lied. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, low key. I thought about belt for Nunu pair. But I'm pretty sure it's just Blitzcrank here. Uh, it's my next unit in. I get Automator and I get Dominator. So. I'm in for it. I mean, we should be chilling here. Fourth experiment, bottom right. Oh, man. Hello, Tom. Hello, Fufi. Good to see you. Good morning. Uh, morning for me. Okay, I mean, I think this is chilling. Maybe I should play Bird Dominators. I have a Zix here. I don't think it's bad. That's a hold up. Ooh, Rage Play Cassio. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Unfortunately, I think I'm actually just mega strong. I'm taking zero damage on my unit. Like, my frontline is actually so beefy. Yamaha's probably going here. Then we'll figure out everything else. Hopefully, we can just get gloves from now on. Um, prepare ourselves, but it's not too bad if we can't. Technician's Crown, level 6, so level 7, technically. We have the other Enforcer, but I think this is probably just the board for now. Does Blitz do damage? Like, not really. I mean, he died very quickly, so definitely not really, but... The board I'm probably going to play is Twitch over... over Urgot. The Twitch bottom left. And then, it's probably Elise over... over this guy. But I wonder how much you want Form Swapper. I still haven't really worked that out. Also, do I really need two Bruiser? Probably not. Maybe I just drop, drop the bruises. Nice gargoyle positioning. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much. This Kogmo is a bit of a beast, though. Look here. 2k damage. I need to watch his... Um, I need to watch his cast. I, I haven't really seen visually what Automated does. But I want to know. I haven't seen... I know it creates this hex thing and does more damage after a set amount of time, but um, yeah, I haven't really seen visually what it does. Um, Rebel Saw, God, there is I mean, I don't have anything I can get in except this. And I don't really want to get this in, so I think we're fine. I can play into Sorks, like if it really comes to it, but I'd rather not. I think I can reroll Cog Blitz here at level 7 if I wanted. I think there is an option to do that. Got one quick glove. I got a D-Claw. I mean, D-Claw is almost always getting slammed here. And I'm kind of down for an IE. And then we'll move, remove the crit later when I need another glove. Am I going to reroll Kogmo Blitz? I don't think I am. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I am. That's fine. It's okay. I just won't. Uh, I'm not playing GP. Am I playing Scar? Unlikely. I'm down to hold. I'm down to hold the Ziggs as well. With Dominator. I mean, this is Dominator. If I hit another one, maybe I'm playing four and dropping Sniper. 
Although I don't really see myself dropping Sniper, to be honest. I kind of like the backline damage we have going on. We got me Cogmore. Yeah, he's got me. I got hit the max attack speed cap. <laughs> Dude, why is Maddie doing just as much damage as Cogmore? He has a three cross. I guess he only has two items, technically. Pandora's bench, climb the ladder. Each time an ally dies, allies are sure. Oh, I'm good. Health is wealth. I'm good. I mean, am I really playing Pandora's here? I think I have to. I just play Pandora's and use it for five costs, maybe. That's my Twitch. Why did I make that? Why did I make that? Why did I make that? Imagine us heroes. Why did I make that? Why did I make that? Why did I make that? I shouldn't have made that. I got two. Do I have Enforcer still in? Yeah, okay, I need to drop the Enforcer guy. I can drop the Enforcer for a 5 experiment if it comes to it. I think that's a fine board. I got dizzy and made, made Ergot 2. It's okay. It's okay. Let's probably drop Ergot for Ziggs, maybe. Nice. Artillery Scrap, Artillery Spylighter. Um, I still have... So how am I playing this? This is in. Then, then. I'm dropping this. And what's going in? Scrap, Rusa. I don't love it. Oh, Dominator seems fine though. I'm down to reroll. I got two, I guess. I don't know what I want, but I'm down to reroll it. Twitch 2 is huge though. Maybe he wants the Shoujin. Actually, there's no way he wants the Shoujin. Victor's my favorite character from Arcane. So sad he's not in this TFT set. I think he might come into the set. I might. He, I think he might come into the set. I'm not 100% sure. And then, like, I don't want to spoil anything. But I think there's a chance that they add some units. They said that some units were in placehold were placeholders, so there's a chance some unit uh that he might get added. More dog said champs will be added as arcane progresses. There you go. So there's definitely a chance. Silco pair. I'll take it. I mean this is a bit of an interesting board. The only thing I would say is this this guy is out of place. But honestly, I'm not sure what I'm meant to play here. Everywhere I guess this is fine. Do I care about Rumble? I mean, Loki a little. Spark. Loki, I kind of care about Rumble. Is there a better Dominator I can play? Oh, Mordecai, so of course. I mean, I'm down to just roll this guy. I don't think I'm going to play him, so. Just rolling for Mundos, really. Or any, or Silcos, any Zoe, and then I can roll for two stuff or cost. We should be fine. We tried Maddie Steb reroll. I haven't. Honestly, I've mostly just been playing strong boards. I normally just take two combat orgs, one, one econ org, and try and go fast nine, and then build like a legendary board. But I'm still yet to like really be able to cap my legendary boards. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure how. Champion gains 40% more armor and magic resist from all sources. 
And that sounds really good, but I don't have armor and MR on my units. I mean, low-key, I'm kind of down for this. Six seconds, 60%. I'm in. I'm in for it. Which... Okay, what if I play Jace next unit? Don't I have a dead unit on my board right now? Oh, at least, but like, it's not really that bad. Yeah, I'm down for this. I'm down for Jason already. Wait, where's my where's my hex core? Hello? Wait, isn't he meant to summon a hex core? Can't, uh, Jace, summon a placeable hex forge. Right. It's fine. I'm sure it's. I'm sure there's a reason. It'll come. It'll come on eventually. Going to bed was the right decision? Legit. <laughs> it was. Okay, I'm down to just play Mordekaiser next and we'll call it a day. Yeah. Oh, I mean, six seconds really not long. Like, my frontline does not die in six seconds. We should be chilling. I wonder how much these the Silco is doing. Not really that much. I still don't see my hex core, so I'm not really sure what's happening there. Oh, that's gonna fester. There's a monster inside. Alawi too. I mean, that is a crazy front line for me. What if I swap to Rumble Alawi over these two? It's too much frontline. I don't have enough items for them. I, what I need right now is like, I need like, I don't have enough items to play Rumble Alawi, so I need like support units, like trade bot kind of things. And I think Jace does that. He's kind of a good trade bot for me here. Wow. Husband of Ascension. Truth is Infinity Force. I mean, it's definitely Infinity Force. Seeker's Arm Guard, Silco. Sounds pretty good too. What if I just Talisman of Ascension, my guy? It's probably Seekers. Almost definitely Seekers. I have red buff. Archangel Seekers. Anduins. I should frontline Jace here. Mistake for sure. Oh my gosh, that can't be good. That can't be good. That can't be good. Well, I've trolled myself. Oh gosh. It's fine. It's fine. It's, a, it's an okay loss. It's an okay loss. I send you a Mikkel. Good to see you. Go for Silco 3, and that is the plan. I'm gonna go for Silco 3. I think you want the hex core like here. And you probably want to move Jace. Cool. Maybe I move everyone right one. my Mundo leaves the battlefield, right? So, oh, I hit the Mordekaiser. That's my next turn. They can all burn. Right where I'm going. 64 to level. I probably should have leveled this turn. What's the gem thing on the map? It's Jace's uh, passive. It heals units for max HP, I believe. We can check once Jace is back alive. Nice. Okay, my silk is doing damage now. I'm doing this my way. So I'm just playing Mordekaiser and then my board's finished, probably. Uh, passive summon placeable Hexforge on cast, three allies close to so it, gain 200 shield. If it's dead, revive with 100% HP. Knock a target into one of them. I mean, that sounds great. I've got double CC with Jace Elise. 
I'm actually in for that. Why do the hexes change color when certain units units are moved? They're form switches, form swappers. If you put them back line, they'll swap forms. It's just a little indicator to let you know. The scrap thing's really annoying because I can't see when units are being stunned, which is kind of what I want to see. Nice, the Silco's actually doing work now. I like the Silco Twitch duo carry. This seems pretty good. Experiment. I mean, it's not bad. Experiment's legit not bad. Uh, I probably want a Twitch item. I know I have um, Salvage Pin, but I'm not for Runan's. Take it, put it on Twitch, and then just play Mordecai's Pair. Under two, keep the Twitch. Down the level here. I don't have Blitz 2 yet, so I don't hold that. And then I should just start rolling full costs. I'm doing this my way. Every web a masterpiece. Nice. Down to keep the Elise. I should roll Echo. I'm a dinger. Corky. Double Corky. It doesn't feel great to roll double Corky. Maybe I just roll the Elise instead. She comes back anyway. Oh, Renan's Twitch, my bad. Okay, board looks good though. I'm happy with it. Yeah, he's just growing bigger and bigger with his AP. Is that, is that meant to happen? Uh, <laughs> maybe Domi- oh, they grow in size? No? I don't know. Okay, I mean, looks pretty good so far. Kind of down to sell the Morty. Like, Loki, I feel like I should go for three star. Um, four costs. Just make bench space. And hold the Porky too. That's fine. He's going for Corky three. Who's y'all's favorite character in Arcane? Um, maybe Echo. It's a tough question, to be honest. I haven't watched enough of the new season yet, I guess. But once I do, I'll let you know. I like Victor too, actually. From season one. As the goat. He's just an experimental guy, that's all. Dude, he just died to the Silco little voidlings left over. Does switch out count as auto attacks? If so, there's a hex. There is a hex for that does 20% max health true damage the first time you hit a champ. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It definitely does count as auto attacks. Oh, we went off everything. Imagine us heroes. Wow. I mean, honestly, I, I sell one and then buy the window. If I don't get drop Silco or Twitch from Orb. But I make sure you keep all your options open. I could get it from Orb here, so. I don't know how much Kogmo is actually doing in this comp, but. Oh my gosh, and I didn't even do it in time. Um, I want Mordekaiser items. Yeah, I don't know how much Automata is even doing. Automata is even doing. But I'm sure, it's doing something. I need to hit one here. Let me hit one. I need the bench space. Okay, thank you. Silco 3! Not bad, let's see it. I mean, surely he just goes crazy. 1000 AP scalings. And he summons 8. That can't be balanced, right? Oh, my Silco. Clear the board. Okay, and it's looking a bit underwhelming. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He has to ramp, he has to ramp, he has to ramp. That's better, that's better. I mean, still a bit underwhelming, I won't lie. <laughs> that's funny. Give me Mundo here. Give me high roller Mundo. Walkie? Dude, this guy's so sad. 
holding all his cookies. He can't hit now. They're on my bench. I mean, this looks pretty good. Uh, the way I'm going to position this, actually, I'm going to move over. Oh, wait. I moved Mundo off the off the experiment hex a while ago. Yeah, I wouldn't do this if I knew. But it was not on purpose. So, GG. Is that Silco from Arcane? <laughs> that just... That just... I love Rad Nguyen's. I wonder if it was even best for me to pick. I just love this item. I'm so much HP, so I feel like the value must be good. This window is legit unkillable. Guy's an actual beast. I like this board, though. I like what we've cooked up here. Window. But Twitch 3, not bad. Let's hope they let me play it. I kind of want to see what the Twitch 3 does. <laughs> Yay, I think they're going to play it out. I'm down to roll Silco if I lose. Takes the Silco out and we roll it. And if we lose, we lose. But like, there's no way I lose with Twitch 3, so it's probably fine. Let's watch what the Silco does. Let me watch what the Twitch does for now. He needs to go on the experiment square. Go, buddy, go! You got this, you got this. One shot, everyone! Boom, 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 boom. Why is this very underwhelming? Okay. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have much AD on him. Okay, I mean, I, I, my window is the, just the beast. <laughs> this guy does not die. How much is he, has he blocked? 9k? 10k? Yield 5k? I mean, that's not bad. It was surprisingly close, though. GG, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, until I come and subscribe, you guys are the goats. You made it this far. Thank you.